Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Call of Duty Megavox Zombies Transit Farm. Uh, this set is very cool. Um, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, comes with four zombies, which are eh, okay. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at them. Alright, so here are the four zombies. Uh, they're the same exact mold as the one in the zombie horde. Uh, there's just two different ones, two different torsos. Um, so they're very cool. Uh, it's kind of weird though. Two of them are detailed and two of them are not detailed. Or not as detailed. And I'm going to show you that right now. So, as you can see, these two are very detailed. Um, if it would focus, that'd be great. Um, so, as you can see, these two are very detailed. And if you bring up these two, not so detailed. Um, so, I'm going to show you a comparison right there. Those two. As you can see, the torso is much more glossy on this one. And so is the head. Uh, not much of a difference on camera, but in person you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. They're still detailed and stuff, um, but, um, yeah. So that's what those look like. And the articulation for these guys include arms moving and head moving 360, legs moving like that, barely. So like I said, they have barely any articulation, um, but you can switch them out uh, with the regular COD Megabox figure. Uh, legs to make this the zombie with articulation in his legs so that's quite cool and you can even make him a crawler if you want uh, as you can see he's a crawler now so uh, if you want to switch it out if you have a spare cod megabox fig and you want to switch out the legs feel free to do so uh, it looks great looks cool um, I might end up leaving it like this I'm not exactly sure but let's look at the actual set alright so here is the actual set um, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Uh, the build was fun. Uh, not very hard at all. Uh, just the string was a little tough, but um, I'll go ahead and talk about that in a bit. And I'm just going to go and give you the details of this. So here's the lava uh, in the red and orange translucent pieces, also in the zombie horde set. Very cool, very accurate to the map transit. Uh, this little wooden piece right here. Uh, three sandbags, which is nice. Uh, you can store a bunch of figs on here. Very good for uh, displaying a weapons rack right here, just to hold to tools, and there is space for a couple on the back. Um, on the windmill barrier thing, there is a barrel. Uh, here is the windmill itself, and you can move it, so it is pretty cool. Um, it did kind of hit the zombie there. Um, so let's go ahead and rotate this around. Uh, it's a good size, too. Um, as you can see, it's mostly built up of brown blocks and these nice uh, silver tile pieces, which are one piece each. I think you get six or... no, no, eight of them. Um, and as you can see, there's a gasoline canister here, or jerry can to light stuff on fire. Uh, and there's these barriers things uh, that you can build in the map. Um, when the zombies knock them down, you can build them back up. Um, so that's cool. Um, there is, of course, a ladder back here. And you can fit figs inside here. Uh, as you can see, there's a zombie right there. And like in the in-game, uh, you are supposed to shoot the zombies before they tear down the barrier and jump over it. And Megabox did a great job of recreating that. I like that a lot. Um, and in here, uh, you can either fit a COD Megabox figure or just a zombie in here. Um, just to watch over uh, what's happening in the distance. And there's a ladder right here, so you can climb up there. You can fit a good amount of figures back there. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, there is one cool feature that I would like to show you guys. Okay, there's a couple. Anyways, that is a lamp right there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's this thing right here that holds down this trap, which I will show you guys what it is in a minute. Uh, there's a couple barn doors right here. Uh, they are printed pieces, no stickers in this set. So that is very nice. Um, and they do slide open like that um, as far as they can go. Um, and the way they're held in is by these pieces right here. It's a pretty interesting design. Uh, and they do not shut all the way, so that's kind of annoying. I don't get why they didn't do that, but, you know, whatever. Still looks good, and that's what matters. Uh, so it'd be kind of hard getting in there with all the lava right there. <laughs> um, but let me show you the actual uh, feature with the set. Alright, so what the one feature with the set is pretty cool. And by the way, guys, that is not included in the set. I repeat, this figure is not included in the set. Uh, there is some more wooden breaches here, uh, by the way. Anyways, so the one feature is... Uh, it's this little piece of string that's attached all the way down here, and uh, when you lift it up, it'll lift up by itself, oops, that's not supposed to happen, um, over this little wheel, should be steady, 
and you lift it up all the way and you let go of the string and it'll drop and normally just crush the zombie. So it's a pretty cool feature. Um, it tells you to leave it down but on the box it shows it kind of up here and you can drop it on a zombie. So uh, let's just try that one more time. Uh, so it is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it's fun to mess around with. Um, kids will like that a lot. Um, uh oh. And sometimes it'll fall off this wheel thing, so that's kind of a, a bit of annoying, but, um, yeah. So pretty cool set. Uh, let's talk about the ratings. So here is one last look at the set. And I did attach the zombie horde to the set, and the way you can do that is you will get an extra piece in the set. Um, any extra piece that you want to use. I, I use this little brown one right here. And you can attach the base plate that this one comes with to this base plate. And it looks pretty nice. Um, as you can see, I put all the zombies on it as well. Um, all six of them. I believe. Um, looks pretty cool. Put the little wheel right there. Um, so I do believe it is part of the transit farm. I think it looks better like that. And if you guys want to do that, if you do have both sets, it looks very nice. And I highly recommend you do that. So um, that is it for this review. Um, I'm going to give this set a 9.5 out of 10. I really like it. Um, retail on it is $40, which is a good deal. Um, um, saying that you get four figures and a 415 piece set, so that's a good deal. Toys R Us is pricing it for $50. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I price matched it um, at Toys R Us. They do price matches now. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's a good deal for $39.99. Um, but, but <laughs> excuse me, uh, but I do think more people are going to head towards the Zombie Horde set just because that's a cheaper set and more people are going to want the figures. I mean, uh, with this zombie theme actually coming, I'm not sure people are going to be wanting the actual structure in the farm added to their collection. I think they're going to be more headed towards the actual figures. Um, definitely I was, but I mean, that's basically what's going to happen. So if you want a good display piece or a good place for your zombies to hide out and good place for mocks uh, with your zombies, this is the set for you. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's very cool anyways. I just I just like it a lot. I liked playing on Transit in Black Ops 2 and getting it in, in a Mega Block set, a little... A mini version of it is very awesome, and I think they did a great job on it. Um, so, that's it for this review. 9.5 out of 10. Pick it up if you want a place to display your zombies. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching.